Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So it is Synthetic Sundays and I have another unit for you guys. This unit is from Friday Night Hair. The name is GLS20 and she is about 26 inches so she's really long. And she has these really soft, beautiful wave type curls. She's listed on the website as a medium brown color mixed with the strawberry blonde. And she has about 2 inches of lace if you guys can see. And this is just her fresh out of the packaging so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this and start with my first section so I like to divide my units when I'm plucking into four sections in the front so one on each side and then the middle section I divide into two and then each of those sections I divide into three sections as I'm plucking it so I'm going to go ahead and part out my first section clip it back and then begin plucking and thinning out that parted area um, and then I'm going to do that two more times until I get all the way into the front of the hair. So quick little tip when you're plucking a synthetic unit because they already tangle so easy it's best to de uh, start detangling first with your hands you're going to see me doing that a lot before you go in with any type of tool like comb or dim and brush or tangle teaser or anything like that just because if you go right in with the tool then sometimes the tangle gets really big and really crazy so if you go through with your hands first you can get rid of some of the bigger clumps before you go in with your tool. So for the last section, it's in the front, you're going to part out the thinnest line, literally like the first row of hairs, and we're not going to touch those yet, we're going to leave those in place, uh, and those are going to be like our baby hairs slash shorter hairs that fall around the perimeter of the hairline. We're just going to do the same thing for this section, pluck it and thin it out a bit, and then we'll start working on those loose hairs in the front. So here's a quick little slow-mo just to show you the difference from the side that I plucked and then this is the side that I did not pluck. Um, it's not that big of a difference but again we only have two inches of lace so we just have to make it work, you know? So now that the entire hairline is plucked, we can go through and cut that first row of hairs that we left out. So I'm going to go in with my razor. I got this from Sally's, um, I think. Either Sally's or the local beauty supply, but I'm sure, pretty sure they both have them. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and start to trim these shorter hairs. And then I'm going to go in with my scissors just to get them a little bit shorter. Next, I'm going to take this Jane Carter, which is my absolute favorite. I use it all the time. Their phone wrap solution. I'm just going to use this to slick back those shorter hairs just so when I cut the lace, I don't cut away any of my hard work. Because this is a synthetic unit, you know that you cannot bleach the knots on synthetic units. So we're just going to go ahead and take this Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Spray. I got the color medium. I believe they have three other, maybe four other colors. Um, I got it from Target. And I'm just going to take this flat kabuki brush and just go ahead and paint this onto my lace to cover the knots. And then after each layer, because I did do two layers, I blow dry it to set it and then put the next layer on and then blow dry it again before I put it onto my actual head. So now that I have the unit on, I decided to go with the flip over method just because it was really cute um, and because I couldn't get a deep part anyway because there's not that much lace. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my razor and cut my sideburn area a little bit shorter. I actually like them kind of long but not too too long. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take my razor and trim that down. And then because I do not um, like tack my synthetic wig down from ear to ear. I like to go in with my got to be glue. You guys totally do not have to do this. You can use the unit like, the, um, not use the unit. 
you can leave the unit like this but i like my baby hairs and when i do my baby hairs with the got to be glue on my synthetic unit it kind of acts as an anchor and it like once it dries it dries the wig in place so i don't have to worry about it sliding back so i'll just go ahead and put a little bit on the sideburn area and then do my baby hairs just a bit um and yeah literally when it dries your wig is tacked down and you don't have to worry And the last thing that I'm going to do is just take my foundation powder and powder my lace just a bit just to get it to blend down into my forehead a little bit better. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. I will see you in my next one. And now let's get into these slow-mos.